In this jump start guide, you'll learn how to quickly start shooting pro video on your iPhone and iPad and achieve cinematic results using Filmic Pro V6, which offers a complete redesign and revolutionary feature upgrade, making it more intuitive and powerful than ever before. Filmic Pro has everything you need to start shooting cinematic smartphone video from the second you open the app. Start by dragging the square focus reticle to set your focus point then the circular exposure reticle to correctly expose your shot. If you want to avoid these values automatically changing whilst recording, tap to lock each reticle. Next, lock your white balance by tapping the imaging button in the lower left, then tap AWB to lock the auto white balance value to avoid color shifts from occurring. Tap once outside to close, then tap record in the lower right to start your recording. The timecode medallion features a timecode counter so you can monitor your record time displays your selected frame rate and resolution, and by default, Filmic Pro records in 1080p at 24 frames per second to give you the film look, and you'll learn to configure these settings in just a moment, as well as your available battery and storage space, and an audio levels meter. Whilst recording, you can use the zoom rocker on the side of the interface to perform a ramp zoom in and out, and the quality loss indicator will transition through green, orange, and red to indicate the amount of quality loss caused by the digital zoom. For best results, stay within the green. Whilst recording, you can unlock the focus and exposure reticles by tapping once on them, readjust as needed, then tap to lock again. To end the recording, tap the record button. To preview the clip you just captured, tap to open the filmic library, select your clip, and tap play. To exit, tap pause, then the X in the upper right, and tap once outside of the filmic library. That's how easy it is to capture stunning video with Filmic Pro, but we've just scratched the surface of what this app can do. And in a moment, you'll learn to master its advanced manual controls. Use the all-new live analytics to get perfect focus and exposure every time. Perform a variable speed focus pull, as well as shoot using the new log mode, along with Filmic Pro's best-in-class support for hardware accessories like the DJI Osmo Mobile, to capture truly cinematic results. But first, let's walk through Filmic Pro's powerful settings menu to properly configure your recording. To open, tap the cog icon and start by selecting the camera you want to use by tapping camera to toggle between the front selfie camera and the rear camera, which will give you the highest possible quality. And if you have the iPhone 7 Plus, you can take advantage of its dual lenses and choose between the wide or tele lens, or select zoom to utilize both lenses for up to a two times optical zoom. Once selected, tap outside to close. Next, tap to set your recording resolution and on the iPhone 6s and up, you can record in stunning 4K with a bitrate of 100 megabits per second for extreme quality, but both resolution and bitrate can be reduced if available space on your device is a concern. Tap outside to close, then tap to set your frame rate. Filmic Pro supports a wide range of frame rates including 25 FPS for PAL broadcast, 30 FPS for NTSC, and if you want to replicate the film look, tap to select 24. The grayed out higher frame rates are resolution dependent and not available in 4K, but lowering your recording resolution will make them selectable, allowing you to record at up to 120 frames per second in 1080p and 240 FPS in 720p. Tap once outside to close. By default, Filmic Pro saves recordings to its internal Filmic library for the greatest reliability, and from there you can export to the Photos app or share directly to third-party apps for editing and further grading. However, if you want to save directly to the camera roll instead, tap Device and enable Save to Camera Roll. I'm going to leave this option off for now, and I'll show you how to export your files ready for editing on a computer or mobile device at the end of this video. If you'll be shooting regularly using these settings, save them as a custom preset by tapping Presets, Save Current Settings as Preset, Name it, and tap Save. Now you can instantly recall these settings by tapping the preset name, then Load, which is a huge time saver. Tap twice outside to close the Settings menu. Now that your settings are dialed in, let's master Filmic Pro's advanced manual sliders and the all-new Live Analytics mode for unparalleled control and accuracy. To reveal the manual sliders, you can tap and hold on either reticle or swipe in from the sides. To close the manual sliders and return to the reticles, swipe back out. 
The beauty of this system is that it gives you the ability to move between three modes. Reticle, which allows you to tap, hold and drag the focus and exposure reticles and tap to lock. Hybrid, which allows you to use the manual slider for focus and the reticle for exposure or vice versa. And full manual mode, which can be quickly entered by tapping the manual controls icon to lock both reticles and reveal the manual sliders. The arc slider on the right hand side allows you to precisely adjust your focus and will automatically apply peaking to help you achieve perfect focus, with blue representing general focus and green indicating critical focus. The arc slider on the left allows you to set your exposure and will display zebra stripes for overexposed areas in red and underexposed areas in blue. If at any point you want to do away with the focus and exposure aids, simply hide the live analytics by tapping the show hide analytics button. The current shutter speed is displayed at the bottom with the ISO above it. If you want to lock your shutter speed and just adjust the ISO with the slider, simply drag until you have the desired shutter speed and tap once to lock. Now any adjustments made with the slider affect the ISO only. Tap shutter speed again to unlock it. To lock your manual focus and exposure settings and return to the reticle mode, tap the show hide manual controls button. Next, to manually adjust your white balance, tap the imaging button in the lower left and currently auto white balance is enabled and signified by the blue AWB icon. And for best results, focus on a white or 18% gray card. Then tap the AWB icon to lock the current settings. You can also select any of the four predefined presets for tungsten, daylight, cloudy, or fluorescent lighting, or adjust the temperature and tint sliders to manually set the white balance. And to adjust both these values concurrently, drag in the matrix view. To save your current settings as a preset, tap and hold on A or B and choose to save current values to preset. For now, I'll return to auto white balance, tap to lock, then tap outside to close. Filmic Pro's live analytics help you attain perfect exposure and focus with four powerful overlay modes. To enable live analytics, tap the show hide analytics button so it turns red and along the top, you can tap to select the zebra stripe overlay, which desaturates your image to better gauge exposure and uses red stripes to indicate areas of overexposure and blue stripes to indicate underexposed parts of your shot. You can adjust either the exposure reticle or the manual slider by swiping in from the side and get real-time exposure feedback. Next along is the clipping overlay, which uses red to signify complete data loss in overexposed areas and blue for underexposed areas and for a complete exposure profile, tap to apply the false color overlay, which uses green to indicate correct exposure, red for overexposure, and blue for underexposure. The last overlay mode allows you to permanently toggle focus peaking on to get razor sharp focus, especially when using the manual focus slider, with green indicating critical focus. Tap again to turn off focus peaking, and Filmic Pro will return to its responsive analytics mode, which only displays focus peaking and zebra stripes while you're making adjustments with the manual arc sliders. Filmic Pro supports pull-to-point slider automation, which is perfect for smooth focus pulls. Swipe in from the right to reveal the manual focus slider. On the arc wheel, you'll notice three horizontal lines. The bold line represents your current focus value and the two others are pull points. Set your stunning focus position, then tap once on the current value indicator to snap the closest pull point into position. Then set your end focus point and tap to snap the second pull point into place. Now you can tap either pull point to automate your focus pull. If your focus move is too fast or too slow, swipe in from the edge to reveal the variable speed slider and drag to the top to increase the speed and to the bottom for extremely slow moves. You can even dynamically adjust the speed slider during a pull to point move to create custom speed ramps. The exact same process can be applied to the zoom arc slider by tapping on zoom and if you swipe in from the left hand side you can perform exposure based pull to point moves in exactly the same way. How cool is that? Capturing great audio is every bit as important as great looking video and Filmic Pro gives you complete control over your sound. Tap to open settings, then tap audio. Here you can select to record from any of the iPhone's three built-in microphones and choose between the bottom, front or back mics and select lossless recording formats such as AIFF and PCM with the industry standard sampling rate of 48 kHz. 
And if you plan on editing in Premiere Pro, make sure you choose PCM or AAC compressed as AIFF is not supported by Adobe. If you want truly pro sound quality, then Filmic Pro supports any iOS compatible external microphone connected to the lightning or headphone port. Once connected, you'll be able to select it from the mic selector under the audio menu. Tap outside to close and to manually set your audio levels, drag the audio slider in the timecode medallion. Just make sure they don't go into the red and you're ready to record. Filmic Pro V6 introduces a new log mode which is perfect for capturing the widest dynamic range, giving you maximum flexibility in post when it comes to color grading your footage. Tap the imaging button in the lower left, then select the tone panel. There are four tonal curve presets with natural perfectly matching the native tonal curve of your device and is the default. To record using the new log mode, tap to select log. As you can see, we get a much more desaturated image with increased shadow details, giving us less contrast but greater dynamic range. This gives us the most flexibility in post-production to completely control the finished look for truly cinematic results using desktop grading tools like Premiere Pro, Final Cut X or DaVinci Resolve, as well as iOS apps such as LumaFusion and VideoGrade. To reset Filmic Pro to its default tonal curve preset, tap the imaging button, select the tone panel, and tap the reset icon. You can also achieve cinematic results using Filmic Pro's best-in-class hardware support for anamorphic lenses and the DJI Osmo Mobile. Tap to open settings, then tap hardware. The Moondog anamorphic lens comes in a range of mounting configurations and allows you to capture 1.33 times more information on the horizontal axis by optically squeezing the image. If we enable Moondog hardware support in Filmic Pro, it automatically de-squeezes the image and allows us to capture video with a signature anamorphic aspect ratio, lens flare and bokeh usually reserved for productions with massive budgets. And finally, Filmic Pro is the first and currently the only app to fully support the DJI Osmo Mobile handheld stabilizer, which allows you to achieve incredibly smooth tracking and dolly shots while still retaining full manual control over focus and exposure thanks to Filmic Pro's trimodal controls. With your Osmo Mobile on and Bluetooth enabled, simply tap to enable DJI Osmo Mobile in the hardware settings menu and then tap the record button on the Osmo to start recording. You can tap the soft touch mode selector button to cycle through three modes. Pan and tilt, which allows you to use the joystick for incredibly smooth pans and tilts. The reticle mode, which allows easy locking and unlocking of the focus and exposure reticles whilst recording by sliding the joystick left or right. And manual mode, which lets you press vertically up and down on the joystick to manually adjust focus and horizontally left and right to adjust exposure. When you're done, tap the record button on the Osmo Mobile to end the recording. Filmic Pro also gives you full remote control using the companion app Filmic Remote over a Wi-Fi network or peer-to-peer -peer between devices within 30 feet of each other. Just open settings in Filmic Pro, tap device and enable Filmic Remote. Then launch Filmic Remote on another device and tap the plus button to search for available devices and tap to connect. You can now remotely set and lock focus, exposure and white balance as well as perform pull to point automated moves and zooms. You can also use the companion Apple Watch app that comes with Filmic Pro to remotely start and stop your recording, complete with video preview right from your wrist. Once your shots are recorded, it's easy to export them ready for editing. If you're editing on your iOS device, tap to open the Filmic library. Then tap the multi-select icon, select the clips that you want to export, then tap the copy selected clips to camera roll button. And once copied to your Photos app, they can easily be accessed in editing apps like iMovie or LumaFusion. You can also select clips on an individual basis and tap the upload to share target button to copy your clip directly to your app of choice. If you're editing on a computer, simply connect your iOS device via its charge cable and launch iTunes. Select your device at the top, then click on Apps in the sidebar and scroll down to the file sharing section and click to select Filmic Pro. 
You can drag and drop your clips to copy them across to your computer, ready for editing. So now you're ready to start shooting cinematic video using Filmic Pro V6, but we've only scratched the surface of what this incredible app can do, and there's still so many powerful features to cover. If you truly want to master this app, you can enroll in the Epic Guide to Filmic Pro at epictutorials.com free of charge using the link in the description, and get access to new tutorials released every week that will help you take your smartphone video to the next level. Make sure you subscribe to Epic Tutorials and Filmic Pro on YouTube for more great smartphone video content, and if this helped, please like, share, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, my name's Elliot Fitzroy for Epic Tutorials.